question, to, final question for you. You've said that you want the deal with AJ to be done by the end of Monday. Monday? Monday? Monday is the deadline. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Gunner Punch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury, of course, we know he's talking retirement. He's always talking retirement. He's retired before and retired again and again. He's retired more than Floyd, um, Money Mayweather. We've known that. But he says something very interesting in this uh, article. He says, boxing is more addictive than any drug. Wow. And he says, so I'm in the relationship and I don't just abandon things. I try to make things work. And that's where we are at the minute. We've been in this romantic relationship since I can remember since I was a child. And now I'm a fully grown adult man with a family of my own. It's like, I do I abandon it or do I not? I wanted to walk away a lot of times, but it always drags me back. Okay. He said, I know it's like an addiction and I'm an addictive person. Boxing is an addiction. It is not my best friend. It, it abuses me. When I come to this gym, it abuses my body, but afterwards it feels like ecstasy. Let me stop right there. <sighs> Boxing can be, there's a difference between fighting and refusing to stop fighting and training. And I think Tyson Fury needs to know the difference. I think he could always train. You know, I I it, one of my human earthly goals is to always have the ability to work out, to train, to do physical things, to go out and live my life. That's that's something that I desire, me personally. Well, with Tyson Fury, he's saying like, well, it's an it's, it's an addictive drug, and it's like ecstasy though, but it's not your best friend. It's this, that, and the other, but. At the end of the day, I think he needs to learn that, hey, you don't have to fight someone to be in love with the sport. You could always give yourself to someone else that you feel or you feel led to train. And hopefully that person can be better than you. That's how it's supposed to be done. Not I'm all that, you know, and I can't stop boxing because boxing is an addiction. I think, if anything, though, boxing can be addictive. We've seen it years and years and years with many fighters that just cannot let go. Maybe it's something that maybe because you got hit in the head too much, that same thing that's damaging your brain is also the same brain telling you to do the same thing. You know, so that may be the case. And that's total destruction. That's negative versus negative. OK, so let's let's understand that. However. I think with Tyson Fury, what made him destructive? I think he has an addictive personality. I do think that. But I think also, if it wasn't for boxing, Tyson Fury would be doing destructive things. Some people are gifted with all types of gifts, attributes, abilities, things that they can do. Like Tyson Fury can. It, it, you know, he can talk shit and he can fight. You know, he can sing a little bit. <laughs> But understand this, I think at the same token, it goes hand in hand with someone also, if they don't use it, it, it or they don't use what they have to motivate themselves to keep moving forward, they're going to end up in a destructive uh, situation. And I think that's what we saw when Tyson Fury uh, beat Vladimir Klitschko. He had no use or, or he didn't feel that, hey, I, I can't, there's nothing else I could do at that point. You know what I mean? The WBC belt was lost in limbo. That really didn't matter, honestly, because nobody really owned it. You know what I mean? The guy was Vladimir Klitschko, and he was the guy that beat the guy. So after that, I think because he fell out of interest with boxing and started going back to the party life, celebrating mode too much and too long, he became destructive without boxing, without the gym, without training. That's why he got five or 400 pounds. So I think with Tyson Fury, I think he needs boxing. He just has to know a way how to stay in boxing without staying in boxing. You know what I mean? It can be destructive if you're in there taking blows from Francis Ngannou and Deontay Wilder when, you know, with that one-handed cannon, you know, and, and getting battered by Usyk. Yeah, those will, uh, that has a hold and, and, and it will take a toll on you. 
You know what I mean? That's maybe what Tyson Fury was talking about. Maybe. You guys tell me if this makes sense about Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Is he addicted to boxing? Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Hey.